Hi there. I'm Suranga. I'll be a new science teacher. And today we are going to do grade 6 science. The lesson is energy in day to day life. The fourth lesson. I want to do this lesson. But I am really really tired today. We had a cricket match this morning. And I played cricket and uh, I am really really tired now. I am very tired now. I can't do this well. I can't do teaching. I can't drive, I can't read, I can't clean the board. And I'm really, really tired, so I'm going to have a rest, you know, right? Oh, I'm very tired, why? I played quick and I have no energy to do this work. Oh, what can I do? Fail. Yes. How can I re-energize me? How can I get some energy? Oh, I can eat something, you know, right? I can drink something. Yeah, just think that. I'm eating mango. I'm eating a piece of cake. I'm eating some dates. I drink uh, some tea. Oh. Now I have energy. Now I'm very good. I can do it now. Okay, right. No problem. I'm not tired now. What? I had something, I had a piece of cake, I had uh, some tea and uh, I had some food in a way. So now I'm not tired, I'm energetic, I energize myself. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to do the lesson in entering day to day life. Shall we see what happened to me? Oh, I feel tired after playing cricket. I feel tired after playing cricket. Why? I cannot do well. I cannot read, I can write, I cannot teach. I need energy. I play cricket, I'm tired, I cannot do well, I need energy. Yeah. I cannot do work as I have no energy. I cannot do work as I have no energy, as you say. How can I energize myself? By eating food. When you eat food, you get energy. Oh, oh. After eating food, what happens? I become energetic. And uh, I'm not tired now. Why? I'm not tired. I eat some food. Why am I not tired? I eat some food. Can I do work now as I have energy? Now I have energy, so can I do work? Now I eat something, I have energy. Can I do work now? I think yes. Yes, I can do some work. Yes, you can. Is work related to energy? Is work related to energy? Is work related to energy? Related. Relations, we call relations. Nag, nag, relations. So related is connected. Nayo, when it comes to Nayo, we are connected, you know, right? So, related means connected. Is work related to energy? The question asks whether there is a connection between energy and work. Are work and energy interrelated? Do they have a connection? Yes, they have a connection. Energy and work are interrelated interrelated someone like why work has something with energy and energy has something with work yeah yes energy has something with work what is energy energy is ability to do work Energy is ability to do work. What is ability? Ability is just like, you know, say, can. For example, uh, I can draw pictures. I have the ability to draw pictures. I can sing. I can sing. I have the ability to sing songs. Ability means if I can 
do something i have that ability if you can uh, if you can see draw pictures you have the ability so energy is the ability you that you can ability to do well if you can do well you have energy if you have energy you can do well for example if i have energy i can do well if i have no energy i can do well so work and energy are interrelated the definition of energy is ability to do work if you can do work you have energy if you cannot do work you have no energy so what's the definition for energy ability to do work so energy is ability to do work yes only living things do work only living things do work i do work you do work elephants do work buffaloes do work you know buffaloes do work in paddy fields you know where farmers use buffaloes to get work done and so buffaloes do work you know and uh, elephants do work in different places you know right uh, in times of uh, processions whatever it is and in ancient times elephants did a lot of work you know right uh, dragging things and lifting uh, heavy loads and so on so therefore elephants even do work animals do work we know that we do work living things do work in a way do you think that non living things also do work non living things do work oh uh, shall we think about this I'll show you something. Non-living things doing work. You can see non-living things doing work. You cannot see the fan, the mounted fan there over there. The bomb ahead. Yeah, it is doing some work. The fan is doing some work. That's why this paper is going here and there. You know, right? Paper is moving. Why does it move? It is moving because the fan is doing some work. Is the fan living? No, fan is not living. But fan is doing some work. Yeah, non-living things even do work. But this is disturbing. You know, right? Disturbing. Yes. and uh, now we know that living things do work non living things do work living things do work because uh, in their bodies there is energy what is energy energy is ability to do work wind makes wind generators go wind makes wind generators go wind you know what wind is wind makes wind generators go you can see a picture of a wind generator i mean the blue one the blue picture is the wind generator not that uh, very tiny thing beautiful thing it is not that wind generator wind generator is uh, this one the blue one i think you must have seen wind generators once we saw wind generators at hambantota and trincomalee even wind generators are huge structures just like huge trees huge structures with fans connected fan like structures connected and when wind comes the blades on the fan moves so the fan rotates wind comes very huge very big you know right i mean can't say exactly uh, say 75 meters to 100 meters i think so so when wind comes wind generator is square so wind use energy wind has energy generally that's why i uh, mean leaves and everything who here and there when wind comes wind blows so wind use energy and uh, fan rotates so in that sense wind makes wind generators go why do we call these gadgets wind generators 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 making you know generators produce electricity 
when uh, at times of power cut we use generators generators generate generate utpadane karna so we call um, next generation in the parampara where utpadane karna cv then we have next generation next in the parampara we utpadane karna so generating is making so wind generators wind generators are the generators that produce electric city yeah that's it so wind makes wind generators go go means not going here and they're working going is working yeah oh uh, and then lorries transport goods you know that lorries transport goods 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 means things you know right boxes uh, whatever it is uh, things and actually uh, now we have the idea that energy is ability to do well and uh, living things do well and also non living things do well you know if you have energy you can do well if we don't have energy we cannot do well so energy is needed to do well work and energy interrelated you know right that's it and um, i have I'm, i'm showing you a link in youtube origami how to make a windmill in your textbook um, they expect you to produce make something like this that is uh, wind propeller so hulam petta wind propeller you are expected to they want you to make a hulam petta wind propeller you know right so uh, in this video clip you can see how wind propeller is made but not in the way that your book says the book says in a way a, a, a particular way but this video shows you um, a different way of making a good wind propeller not the same similar type wind propeller that's different but we will show you right if you have that you can go that link origami how to make a wind make and um yeah finally shall we summarize what we have learned today we learned that we need energy to do work why do we need energy to do work energy is the ability to do work that is the definition of energy so therefore if you have no energy you cannot do work if you have energy you can do work that's it and also how do we get energy we get energy from food that we eat we eat food and food contains energy chemical energy especially we are going to talk about and then the chemical energy comes into our bodies and we have chemical energy and we can do work so we can do work because we do have energy inside and also machines need energy machines do work whatever it is the living thing or non living thing whatever it is if something is doing work it needs energy so machines just like uh, earth movers so caterpillars um say cars lorries airplanes ships they do work how do they do work they do work because they have energy they need energy to do work and also we talked about wind generators and wind mills wind generators we talked about wind generators not wind mills wind mills are structures huge structures built in past to get wind um so that to rotate fans the fans are connected to machines machines uh, grind grains yeah if you have um watched movies like uh, robin hood you you, you, you can see uh, the windmills you know right so wind mills so wind mills so wind generators they need energy that's what this lesson and in the next video next lesson we are going to talk about solar cookers and solar ovens and at the same time the same topic interaction to energy in detail so we are meeting soon